So we're here today to talk about your business and the various things that you do to help people. One of your main services or skill sets is that you're a, a Yinga yoga teacher, is that correct? That is correct, yeah. Steve. Can you yes. tell me a bit about that and how your classes work and how, how you actually operate that side of your business? Yeah, with pleasure. So I qualified as an Iyengar yoga teacher last year after three years of training and several years before that of practicing yoga myself. Iyengar yoga is a form of yoga that was developed by Mr. Iyengar, BKS Iyengar, or Guruji as we like to call him. And he is widely credited as being the man who brought yoga to the Western world. He's also the man who uh, developed the yoga mat and he developed a range of props that we use in our classes to support us to get into the poses. So we use bricks, belts, blankets, bolsters, chairs, we use the wall a lot and all of this helps us to get a better understanding of the poses and it, it makes it a very accessible form of yoga for everybody because we can't all get into the poses but when we use the props we can and we can feel the pose and we can get more benefit from it. Yep. So it's it's also about a focus on building up our yoga practice from the foundations and getting correct alignment in the pose and getting it, you know, for maximum benefit for mind and for body. So this is what attracted me to it. And this is what a lot of people love to come to Iyengar Yoga for, is this greater, deeper understanding of what we're doing and why we're doing it. And, and you run a couple of classes every week in a local studio, is that correct? Yes. So currently I'm based in Newport on Tay. There's a lovely, clean, bright yoga studio there. And I teach two classes at the moment there. We're hoping to bring in a third, actually, if the demand is there. So that is Thursday evenings from six, uh, Friday mornings from quarter to ten. And hopefully we'll have another one starting Saturday mornings, quarter to ten as well. And what size are those classes typically? So typically it depends on restrictions, um, but generally we hope to have up to 12 people in the class at one time. Um, usually we average about eight to 10 people in each class though. Yeah, and, and if you've got demand elsewhere that's not too far away, you can travel if there's small groups of people who might want to learn or they've got their own, or maybe someone might invite you along to their studio to, to, yes. to do, yeah. Okay, so Absolutely. you can travel, but not not too far, maybe half an hour, an hour or something like that, depending yes. on the... Yeah. I'm open okay. to that. Mm -hmm. I, would, okay. I would like to bring yoga to more people. So if there is a small group of people in one area who are keen to have a weekly class, then I'm open to, to considering that as a possibility, yes. Okay. And because of the, the world of lockdowns and all the things that go on in this world that you never know what's around the corner, you also do online yoga sessions by by zoom yes i'm lucky that yoga is something that does actually translate to going online those classes are typically no more than one hour long and it would be much the same as we do in the studio however you as a participant would need to have your own equipment and if you don't then what i would do is suggest uh, different household items that you can use instead and i generally demo poses so that you know what you're doing and then um, i can see all of you on screen and i, I try to correct you as well it's and it allows people throughout the uk to tap into your skill set if someone can connect with you and they, you resonate with them and on that level then yeah. you may you may be the perfect teacher for them so if they're throughout the uk because although it's not as good as being in person it's, it's the next best thing and these people throughout the uk can still connect with you if they, if they like what they see Yes, this is true. And I like what you say about resonance, because it is all about, OK, you know, do I feel good in this class? Do, do I feel safe in this teacher's hands? And one of the main reasons I am offering online classes still is, is exactly that reason, because I have a lot of people who want to come to me as a teacher who do not live locally. So that's why I'm doing the online classes. And what we would do beforehand is I would get you to do a health declaration, let me know if there's any injuries or medication or any medical conditions that you have that I need to, to be aware of so that we can practice safely. And also whether there's something that we can, you know, so that I can also modify the poses for you when you're in my class. 
And another major string to your bow that you're able to help people with is the you're a doTERRA wellness advocate. So I'm really proud actually to partner with this company, doTERRA, who founded themselves um, on because they wanted to provide the purest essential oils um, possible to the market. So this came out of a, an understanding, really wanted to bring something that was 100% pure for it so that it could be used therapeutically. And this is what really drew me to doTERRA. Not only that, their focus is on sustainable sourcing and very ethical sourcing of essential oils from countries where those plants thrive. So yes, they're an essential oils company. And what I do is I introduce people to the oils. So for example, if you mention something that you're having trouble with, I can offer you an essential oil that might be able to help with that. I'll send you samples and you can try it, we'll see how you get on. And then there's um, a chance for you to learn more, come to a class with me. And then once you get your oils, I'm here as somebody to support you for the rest of the time that you're using mm -hmm. essential oils. And when you say come to a class with you, how, how does that work in practice then? Is that an online class where you would just talk to them about how to use the, the oils in the best way? Yes. So we I do online classes. I also like to do classes in person. I like to have people, yeah, both, both. Are, and um, it's a short class and it's really just an introduction to help you understand how you can use oils and then how best to get started. So some people like to start with a small selection of oils or just one or two. Other people like to go, go all in and get a kit, which is like a foundation kit to get started and then, and then go from there. And so further down the line, we look at setting sort of wellness goals, areas in your life that you can use your oils to support you. And I'm always here. And it's about continuing education as well. So I do monthly workshops for my customers on different areas. For example, low tox home, like getting rid of chemical products in your home, replacing them with essential oils. For women, I've done using essential oils to support your menstrual cycle, creating homemade gifts, using essential oils in uh, food and water, uh, different things. So. And typically, what would be maybe the top three or four things that people would come to you for that essential oils good to help with? I love this question, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> typically, sleep. People want right. to sleep better. Oftentimes, people want more energy. They want uh, relief from stress. They want the the maybe they've got absolutely nothing wrong with them, and they want to get rid of chemical products, which is silent killer in the home, actually, all of our chemical cleaning products and all the chemical and um, personal body products that we use. So that would be another thing. And then digestion is another big one. So they can take it in water, they can take it in tea, they can take it in the bath, they can put it on their skin. There's all sorts of different ways. They can diffuse it, can't they, as well? Yeah. So we've got three three ways which we can use doTERRA oils. I, I wouldn't, um, ex because of their purity, uh, we can use them internally. That's something, ones that are suitable for internal use. Other essential oil companies may not be so pure. So yes, internal use, if suitable, diffusion, aromatic use, inhaling, and then topical use. So those are the three main ways that we can use them. And as well as you helping people with this, it's a good option for people to find out more about it but there is also a business there you know it's a it's like one, one of the sort of multi-level mlm businesses as well now they can get a bad name in the market because some companies have used the network marketing concept to get a bad product out to a market and expand rapidly but yeah. companies like doTERRA who have a good reputation and have a good product yeah. then it's actually a good opportunity for people who might be not happy with their current employment let's put it that way they might be getting made redundant or losing their job they might be looking for something else to do full or part-time and this is an option for them to connect to you as well to find out about it for any of their own health issues but perhaps find out about it as a as a business opportunity for them as well if they were interested in that and you you would be because you've got the experience experience you would be a good person to, to bring them in and train them so that they, they hit the ground running and they become experts in that as well. I've, I've been on this journey of moving away from reliance on an employer to wanting to become self-employed for quite some time now and um, I, I got my essential oils because I, I had a lot of health 
challenges and and I wanted to support myself and have my own natural solutions at my hands and they really have transformed my life I feel empowered now when it comes to anything that's troubling me think okay well what oil or what lifestyle or what diet change can I make and then <laughs> I realized the generosity of the um, business opportunity and the sharing opportunity that you quite rightly mentioned uh, doTERRA offer and as you say yes there are many network marketing companies who who have a bad reputation doTERRA does not ask you upfront to put forward lots and lots of money you are not having to buy tons and tons of stock it's very easy to get started sharing these oils with family and friends that commission comes in on a weekly basis when you actually get somebody started. So you, you do see some income already coming in. And the business opportunity is, but I've never actually compared it with other multi-level marketing companies, but it's one of the best and most generous and, and well-paid. So a good opportunity for people to connect. They can find out more. And, and again, they can pick up the phone. They can email you. They can fill in the form on your page. You're going to have a new website coming soon. You're also on Instagram. So there's all sorts of different ways to, to connect with you. But the key is you've got things there that help people. You're a very helpful, easy to do business with, pleasant person. I've said that to you before, and I, 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 would, I would definitely in, endorse you having met you now a few, a few times. So I, I'd like people to pick up the phone to you and, and, and use your services and connect with you. You do these three samples and, go and there's a bit of a try before you buy opportunity. Thank you for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope we've covered everything. I think people will be interested in what you do. It's an excellent uh, service that you have there. And I think they'll enjoy doing business with you as well. Thank you, Steve. I'm here to serve people who want to take charge of their health. And I think we have a lot of people ready to do that, to take responsibility, to look after ourselves through essential oils, through yoga. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the connections that I'm going to make through Awakened Pages. Thank you okay. so much for having me.